Hi, I'm Michael Dresser and I'm one of the UK's most unique gay sex and intimacy coaches. And I don't know about you, but a lot of the time in the past, I've been absolutely terrible for going along with stuff, especially touch, even when I don't want it. Putting up with touch I don't like, even enduring touch I hate, and just grinning and bearing it, or even in some cases, wondering if there was something wrong with me if I didn't like the way a guy was trying to pleasure me. And I know I'm not alone in this. It's something my clients frequently tell me they want to get better at not doing. So in this video, I want to unpack all this a bit and look at why so many of us struggle to stop going along with touch we don't enjoy and also what you can do to change that. So let's start by going right back to the very, very beginning of where all of this starts. From the minute you were born, you were touched against your will. You were picked up, you were fed, you were cleaned, you were dressed. And a lot of the time when that happened to you, you were probably not happy about it, screaming or crying or complaining in some way. But it happened anyway. And just think about that for a second. Think about the impact of that. Even if your caregivers had the very best of intentions in how they were touching you and had your best interests at heart, and unfortunately that's not always the case, but even if it was, you learned very early on in your life that what was happening to you was more important than how you felt about it. And your body learned that touch is something that just happens to it and you didn't have very much choice about that. Because even though you screamed or cried, there were probably a lot of times where the touch didn't stop. So you learned to put up and shut up before you could even speak or understand language. That's pretty huge. And at the same time, we all need to be touched. Human beings are wired for it. Safe touch is a really crucial part of our requirements for well-being. But because most of us don't get taught how to ask for what we want, and actually a lot of the time we're actively discouraged from doing that, and because we learn at such a young age to tolerate the touch that does happen to us, a lot of us have ended up in this place where we just settle for crumbs when it comes to touch. We go along with the touch that we don't really want because it's better than nothing. Or we end up thinking that the touch is right, but it's us who needs to adapt and try and find a way to like it more. Any of this sounding familiar to you? I don't think I've met a person yet who hasn't felt this way at least sometimes. So what can you do to break this pattern? The key is choice. Learning to choose what you want, what kind of touch you want, and then the touch happens. And one of the most amazing things is that when you start to experience touch in this way, so choosing it first and then it happens, you start to understand and to really feel in your body that what you want actually matters. Now the irony is, for some of us, and I include myself in this, that it can actually feel kind of comfortable to just allow stuff to happen to us because it's become the norm. It's what we've got used to. And I can't count the number of times I've said to people from massage therapists to lovers, oh, you can just touch me however you want, even though the touch is supposed to be for me. It's supposed to be what I want, but I'm just letting someone else decide for me. Because no matter how connected you are or how attuned you think the other person is, the bottom line is that if somebody else is making the choices about how you get touched, then eventually you're straight back to going along with something and sooner or later that's going to include trying to adapt yourself to like it or wondering what's wrong with you if you don't like it. So there's one really simple question that I use all the time whenever I notice that I'm not enjoying something or I'm putting up with something, particularly touch. And the question is not, why don't I like this? The question is, what do I want instead? And as soon as you ask yourself, what do I want instead, you start to give yourself choice and the possibility that what you want might actually matter. And that's really the key 
to how to stop going along with stuff and particularly how to stop going along with touch that you don't enjoy. Now, the world is not generally set up to help you notice what you want differently and then ask for it. So it's helpful to have safer spaces where you can practice these skills. And that's something I can help you with both online and in person. Check out my website for ways to work with me and like and subscribe below to stay up to date with more of my tips and resources.